seas turn to ban. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. TNCs turn to ban. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. TNCs turn to ban. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the MDL Macau Sea Qualifier Finals. Me, Hades, Alder from Singapore, and my Brazilian co-caster, Mr. D2 Bowie. We're here to bring you more great casting here for this series. And Bowie, how are you ready for this game too? Yeah, let's do this. Cast. And not to mention the Mineski, the adventural spirit worked out way better than I thought. And this time, TNT, the first band, the Ogre. Which is fascinating to me because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the TNC, uh, the Mineski won because of it, but uh, this time they're going with the Night Stalker first. I, I like it pretty much. I feel like it's a pretty strong hero. Uh, also good against Tinker if Mineski ever goes for that, uh, for that hero again. But now Mineski goes for the Undying. Uh, another hero that you know we we've been seeing a lot more this patch than before. For sure, I think this hero wasn't even picked that often in the previous patch at all, like a superbly yeah. low pick rate. But it's, it's good, you know, I think with the new talents and the way Undying's been sort of buffed just a tiny bit, I think his zombies actually hurt a lot more from the tombstone as well. Yeah, he actually had a pretty good buff before this new patch. Uh, the, the tombstone was harder to kill, but uh, like pretty much just ignored the, everyone just ignored the hero, and uh, it's quite hard to actually destroy the tombstone now. And they went with two melee supports, considering this is... Oh, oh, is, uh, does Ice 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 play on Dying? Uh, I'm, I'm not... That I don't think they've... SCA no problem. Power. I don't think they run Undying on the offlane for Ice Ice Ice. Usually they like to run him on Timber, Bat, Nyx, you know, very conventional offlaning heroes. But so far, like I said, you know, the Tiny Pick comes out again. We saw it for Jabs. Surprisingly, though, this time they let the Night Stalker through. Could, and TNC giving it to Tim's, that's that's scary, but yeah. the mystery of this pick right now is who is playing the Tiny. Is it Jabs? Is it, is it Ice Ice? Yeah, that's true. It's a very versatile pick for Mineski since they, uh, they can play with so many different players. Uh, this Night Stalker, it could set up something like... Um, I do I do like Night Stalker in combination with uh, like initiators like Batrider. Uh, I feel like it, it really it really allows the your team to initiate with a lot of confidence. Not sure if they're gonna go with it though. They go for the IO. Oh, huh. IO. Okay, dude. You, I I know what's coming next. I can feel it. It's gonna be the Chaos Knight, dude. Oh. They've run IO CK so often, they even run IO Terrorblade. They like their illusion push heroes, you know, carries who can just fight so well. I don't think it's gonna be, you know, something like IO Do Oh, Dusa's taken out. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I do like IO CK, and I would like to see a Batrider on top of it. I feel like IO Batrider is such a strong combination. 
and uh, with the Night Stalker, in my opinion, is is a very good pairing overall. You can just, if you have Io Bat Rider, you just want to lean. There's, I'm not sure there's anything that can deal with that super super well. But but we'll see. They banned the Venge, which is good. I, I'm not a big fan of Venge, but it seems like Mineski, they, they just they just have this way of playing with Venge. It's super hard to deal. So I guess it's just it's just better to ban it right now. And you see the Husker ban. Once I mean I or Husker can be pretty scary, even though I'm not sure if TNC runs it. Can be. And um, okay, one thing I think you've put you haven't pointed out yet is Night Stalker and when it's nighttime, you make it increasingly hard because of the lack of vision. You make it harder to find the IO, which means IO is yeah. gonna have a slightly easier time, you know, it's a bit safer for him. But Okay, the Vengeful Spirit pick, I think this is something which some teams still have yet to understand. You know, that's why they probably ban it out. It's just a hero which really comes online super quick. That right click we saw in synergy with the tiny. You don't want to let the tiny go around having so much free fun again. Yeah. But that being said, what okay, I said IOCK. Do you see any other heroes here which I might have Mm, it, it, I mean, it goes from team to team. Like, a lot of people don't run IO Tiny anymore, but Complexity uh, still plays it, even though, like, Eggs is not even a thing anymore. There's uh, any big cores could be quite strong. Like, we see the Sven, uh, uh, Liquid really liked their IO Sven, uh, Husker, but it got banned. CK, maybe something. I, we even saw, like, IO Alchemist from OG, but I'm uh, pretty sure TNC doesn't run their uh, Alchemist. I don't think but I've seen actually, a single Alchemist pick yet, though. Um, I did see it, but they lost. <laughs> uh, in theory. In theory, oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the the new Bounty Runes, they definitely favor uh, carry Alchemist more. But uh, we probably won't see Alchemist here. Let's see what Mineski... If this is a, a support... If these are two supports, they're like in... Yeah, this is probably mid for Cuckoo, right? Well, I'm sorry. For no, mid. I mean... Yeah, for, um, I recall once there was one very specific situation, uh, like, they still let Queen of Pain be played by Mushi. I mean, this is a hero which both, he can play in both the safe lane and the mid as well, it doesn't necessarily... And one thing also, like, between Mushi and Moon, who is Nana, you know, they, they, they occasionally switch the lanes a bit, depending on which matchup is better. But, I mean, we'll have to see, right? Dude, just yeah, denying Cuckoo Pop picks. is better this patch than it was before because it's easier it? for okay. her to snatch the, the runes. So the runes are so close, you can like get double double bounty pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see whether this is mid or not. Uh, I do like Queen of Pain mid against Ayo drafts because usually Ayo just like runs you down and with Queen of Pain that's harder to, to do because... Oh, Spirit Breaker, so maybe this is offline Ice Talker? Yeah, should be. Sam H has played Night Stalker before for TNC, and I mean there have been Spirit Breaker off lane, but I don't think this will be that case. This will be yeah. interesting to see how they play Spirit Breaker on on Tim's though, because this hero can can single handedly win you three lanes or lose you three lanes depending on the charge <laughs> the charge ganks, right? Okay, yeah. so I need to humor me just, just a bit, okay? Bowie, TNC have gone for three blue heroes. The last two picks are blue only. Who do you pick? Hmm. Now that's hard. Uh, well, if you're going with blue heroes that I like, Enig and is Enigma considered blue or is it like pink? Uh, okay, so maybe Enigma Storm. You go for Jungle Enigma and uh, Storm Spirit. No, 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 no. You go with Carry Storm and Mid Enigma, dude. A VP played Mid, mid, mid Enigma. Enigma once. All right. Yeah. You don't think uh, IO OD? OD counts as blue. Okay, okay. That, that, that could work. But uh, I like my Enigma more. Lifestealer come out now from Mineski. Alright, I can see the synergy. At least you have a Infest Taxi now. Queen of Pain can just blink in with Lifestealer. Uh -huh. I like this draft for Mineski. They've kind of swapped it out around a bit, you know, because this is usually a draft which TNC would pick, but looks like 1437 is going to try and Come on, this on new meta right now. Who else? You know, you something here? that I don't like about the Spirit Breaker pick coming from TNC is that uh, Undying, kind of like Disruptor, when you go for these relocate plays, when you go with the Spirit Breaker charges, you always have the Tom that he can preemptively plant, and it's mm -hmm. quite hard to find in that location. 
So, uh, since they picked Spirit Breaker after the Undyne, uh, let's see how much farm and experience this Undyne will have. But it can be quite scary to, if you this, if the Undyne can choose when they're fighting, you know? If, okay. Uh, but they go with the Phantom Lancer here. Uh, pretty, pretty good pick. Pretty good pick. You can just... Uh, you can use your third skill to get into the Tombstone pretty fast, so you just burst it down. You can also purge open wounds, you can purge the dagger. It's a pretty interesting pick. And also, this is a hero which they can play both mid and safe lane. I would say PL does okay against Queen of Pain, since you can always dispel mm -hmm. the Shadow Strike. And not to mention yeah. your bottle, you know, you, the Spirit Lance is such a cost-efficient spell. Good nuke as well. Never know, you know, maybe PL could be that counter to Queen of Pain. Still leaves room for TNC. Or they could just put, you know, PL just in the safe lane and, like I said, go back into their CK or Terrorblade pick. They have many options available here too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they ban. <laughs> they pretty much ban the entire draft that uh, Mineski went for the last time. They banned four that's heroes true. of the last. Uh, that's that's quite fun. The only hero Dude. not banned is Tiny. Dude, maybe Min you know they they probably were afraid that Mineski were listening to you, man. I mean, Tinker pick, and let the Queen of Pain go into the off lane. They could have been listening to you. I, I did stream sniping. I I I don't know. I'm <laughs> So Maybe that's the case. Oh, only eight seconds. Oh, okay. They already know what they're picking. Terribly, oh, the there we go. Okay. okay. They don't have a lot of clear on the side of Minaski. Let's see what they go for. That's your clear ah. right there. All right. Yes. So we got trademark heroes coming out from both sides. It will be Cuckoo going down the mid lane against Queen of Pain. They have run Raven on Terrorblade. Actually, both Cuckoo and Raven can both play a mean Terrorblade. In fact, this is what they're very reliant on, which is why you usually see this banned by the second phase. But to give Ice 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 the Timbersaw, this, this is this gonna is be such exciting. such a Timbersaw game, dude. This is so good. They have three strength heroes, then the other two heroes are illusion-based heroes that have no disables whatsoever. I guess they're, they're like the, the big play I wanna see is um, Sander on Timbersaw, so you can kill him fast. And this is going to be a Raven Terrorblade, so he won't have as many levels. Well, let's see. I mean, Terrorblade can... He doesn't really do that well against Timbersaw, uh, unless they go for a very early uh, Metamorphosis. They, they try to choose an Ice 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 level 1. Let's see. I mean, we don't even know if the Ice 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 is going to be playing the offlane, right? Maybe they can just uh, make Timber versus Nightstalker and go with an aggro try. Uh, I feel like Undying Tiny Lifesteader just wreck Terrorblade as well. But we'll see. Uh, I mean, dude, Ice 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 Timber, so it's pretty good, and uh, he's gonna have a great game considering the picks. So uh, I'm going with Mineski this time. Going with Mineski again. I, I want to. I want to game three. So I'm gonna be rooting for TNC here. And I mean, you said that Raven has, you know, he gets lesser levels, but I actually do realize they have been leaving him in solo lane matchups most of the time. So yeah. Ice 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 could still do pretty okay against a solo Terrorblade, I think. Yeah, he, he's gonna do great against Solo Terrorblade because uh, Terrorblade already he doesn't have a lot of base damage, only fifty three. And uh, if I, if he's solo against a Terrorblade, he's gonna go with er Whirling Death level one, and uh, then it's even harder for him to get any CS. So I'm gonna see the Timbersaw getting a lot of denies, got a lot of CS, uh, and we see three heroes here, quite aggressively. Jungle. That's what I like about giving you the free TP at level one. It's so that you encourage bounty rune fights. A lot more than before, and this is where you know back then you usually get one on each side of the map. Now you usually have two on the same side. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, I do like it as well. You see a lot of fights nowadays, and uh, all those supports that are super cheap and go like boots, uh, minute one, and they don't buy TPs. At least they have the TP now, so you can flame them if they don't TP to your lane when you get ganked. Okay. That's quite good as well. Charge here. Nah, I don't think they want to take uh, the risk. Nah, it's gonna be but... two for two. Nana's gonna get two bounty runes actually. Oh, yeah. As TP's into the middle lane, just like that. <laughs> I mean, you get yourself, you get closer to a bottle, why not? Oh, and they, they spotted uh, Spirit Breaker warding here uh, because of that early ward coming from Ineski. I saw a, a pink ping, so they probably know it's warded in that location. And yeah, they do. But 3-7, he's probably pinging it out as well. 
attempts to just piggyback up 1437. They anticipated the aggro lane coming out. And like you said, they actually will put Ice 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 against Sam H Night Stalker. Yeah, uh, both lanes are fine, honestly, but I feel like Mineski can pressure the Terror Blade more with more heroes because this uh, uh, is gonna force the NC to leave their supports in the oh. And the toss back, the Willing Death and the Open Wounds. Can they kill Sam H? They need more right clicks. It won't be enough even Six with three armor. heroes. Six armor. Well, he dodges the gank. Yeah. But right. then, he's so... gonna have to walk back, so. I mean, that's okay, oh, right? It's better than giving away yes, first blood. To lane now. Yeah, they're running the musical lanes. They want to put him up against the Terror Blade. And... Yeah, like, you know, like I said, Cuckoo, he's going to do decently okay against the Queen of Pain. He's 5-0 to the 4-2. Battle Strike nice. is basically not a thing. Oh, oh nice bottom lane. Ice, ice, ice. We'll give away first blood. Ninja Boogie was trying to get the return kill here onto Tim's. But Raven getting himself a big kill. Yeah, uh, that, that's what you have to do. You have to queue ISSS level 1, and he's panned the TP, so that's even more incentive to go for the play. Now he's gonna have to walk back. Gonna lose all the experience. Oh, I thought he got maybe like two more bashes. They could have perhaps killed off, you know, the, the ninja boogie and dying. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's quite tanky. More armor. Oh! Oh, he he's actually took it! Alright, yeah. balanced. The Dude, that the has well. 16 strength. Oh my god, 24. He, he's gonna ride oh, people he so much. He can go for Tim's. He's yeah, definitely he's going go. for Tim's. Hello? Uh, oh. One more? DK? Oh, the oh. tether away. No, this, this is so annoying, man. If you're a Ninja Boogie solo zoning out two supports. And despite getting first blood, you know, Raven, he's gonna be under a lot of pressure now that both his supports have basically left top lane jabs getting the sam hitch kill just in the nick of time once again toss and tree grab amazing spells yeah toss toss is super strong uh, especially when you have toss a hero like life stealer uh, short range and open wounds but if you're just throwing your enemies to the life stealer he can he can cast the spell Okay, so we're still one on one. Middle lane, you know, still very dead. Even between Nana and this Yell. He's actually opted to go into Tangos and a Wand. Not so much. Okay, Bottles on the way. That explains. I, was, I thought he just invested in pure region. Just like this triple range creep here coming up for Boogie and, you know, Timbersaw. They're going to get a ton of EXP. Level 2 reactive armor. I actually don't think they can kill Ice 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 anymore. No, they can't. And um, maybe. Maybe with three heroes, but uh, even then it's super hard. They uh, they have to get ice size after he comes back from, to base, and he has no reactive armor stacks up. If you go when he has ten, it's impossible. And he's gonna make sure he's gonna make sure to draw aggro and always have ten stacks. Yeah, he just keeps doing that. As you said, one four three seven, very hard game. On who do you even charge this game, right? Like you can't kill the Timbers on now that he has two points in reactive armor. Pop is just gonna blink away. I don't know. It's what do you do if you if you're the spray breaker? Mm, that's that's really the problem. That's why I uh, I was not really sure about the pick. I feel like you have to pressure life sooner. Maybe bait the rage. Uh, you go with uh, night stalker Io. Bait the rage and then you charge. Uh, but it's a very small time frame. You have like 10 seconds to go for the play. They want to charge here into Nana, who will get the blink away under the tier 1 tower. Oh. Looks like they want to commit for this. Can we get a bash? We need one more bash, sir. Never mind, he's abandoned his support. One, four, three, seven, and the scream. Nana's going to get that one. He, they actually he had a probably kill. Back. Uh, it was a, quite a short range blink, but uh, Piao kind of gave up. Maybe afraid of more heroes. Team? Oh, that, that's just a letdown right there, man. Cuckoo just... <laughs> He just chickened out on his own core, man. I mean, on his support. Do you think yeah. they could have gotten the kill though if he went? I feel like he they could because it was such a short range blink. Uh, Spirit Lens does a lot of damage and resilience as well. So it could uh, get Ooh, more. Ooh, bash. I, I don't know why. I feel like a kid every time I see one for three seven. Like every time he gets a bash on Spirit Breaker, it's super satisfying to watch. Like this spell can or this passive can ruin your game and tilt you. Do you ever find? Yeah, of course he can. Oh, and now Mushi trading hits with Night Soccer. Uh, they are charging him in top lane, but middle lane, you know, Cuckoo did fall very low. He has 14 one charges, but back to the top. 
And yeah, there's no way they get the kill there. Ice Ice Ice, however, Dude. he's gonna try and cut down Tim's. He's gonna dominate that lane super hard now. Uh, we saw uh, Raven trying to zone him out with Metamorphosis when uh, Ice was on the tree, but you can't. They, they need to, like, they need four heroes oh. to kill this team. Oh, oh he, boy, he messed he up on the tether. I think yeah. he wanted to tether to Raven, but instead he tethered to a creep. But 3-7, getting the charge here into Mushi with the open wounds, they have the avalanche on two. Toss up into the air and they will probably find one for 3-7 if they get one more right click. Face boost just came in for Mushi. Oh. Sam H, just to night time, he can chase after jabs. Who's going for the bounty rune? The race for the bounty rune, never mind. And, okay, you know, Pop. Mineski are dominating these lanes. Pop, oh, he has a sonic wave. Never mind, blinks out. Doesn't want to overextend over there. Uh, bottom? I hear charge. Raven? Being yeah, they're chasing after him, but over the top in the jungle, they actually get the shrine just in the nick of time for jabs. Can he kill Tim's? Oh, oh Sonic Wave blows up Tim's avalanche, and Jabs is still alive. Sandwich with Hunter tonight. He's gonna try and get Sam H. Oh, all right, nice. double kill for Moon. One for three seven. Gonna charge away all the way to the south, trying to get Ice Ice Ice, but two for one trade, not favorable at all. Three for one actually. After Ice 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 killing off that lovely Io. Actually, no, so Nana killed the IO. Yeah, what am I saying? But I thought there were two heroes here helping out Timbersaw. Uh, this Metamorphosis is gonna end. They, they can't go for this. They have no. Oh, Sunder! Oh, nice! Sunder. They just yeah, got that's it! That's the play! That's the play! Never mind. Oh, Mr. Timber oh. Chain! Oh dear. Oh dear. But the reactive yeah, armor. Yeah, oh, they actually do get enough damage with the void. So Ice Ice That's the Ice only way you kill that Timbersaw. That's the only way. Well played from Raven. Radiance top tower. No wonder they chased for that. I was like, there's no way to gain. Yeah. Well played. That's, they really needed that kill. Or else uh, Ice Ice was gonna snowball like crazy. If he gets Chakram, that's a completely different story right there. He's yeah. gonna build his way he kills into... Everyone. Oh. He kills everyone. Indeed. Flexion, but you know. Reactive armor. Well, balanced spell. Yeah. Jab still walking around trying to build a soul ring up. You're a charge. Oh, oh no. he cancelled yeah, that he to really fast. Body. But it would reveal the, the ward, so that's probably why he. And he was kind of far away as well. This way, you know, Nana gets a bottle charge, but over in the bottom lane. Look at this. Look at this. Never mind. Don't look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't add a lot of mana. Yeah. But never mind, he's close to arcane boots, so that's still okay, you know? Yeah, the new soul ring is definitely a buff to Timber Soul now. You get more HP. It's always and good. Like, huh? I think you get extra health regen, right? Yeah, 2 HP health regen on soul ring. We'll go for yeah, smoke six. play now, Mineski. Three heroes. Oh no, it's your two. To get the co-op and jabs. Jabs still holding that tree, which is way too big for him. Oh, they can and find can the IO actually... here. Yeah. Ayo? Ayo? I'm gonna throw the quap so that she has the blink away. I would like to see that. If they, you toss the quap so the, the, the dive is not as uh, dangerous to the quap. But yeah. Alright, so we see a charge tower. coming in to boogie. They, they do have the, the darkness. So Raven even comes in as well. You know bottom lane, they have a lot of creeps here. I think they're actually just gonna cut the creep wave and take this tier 1 tower. Lots of pressure. And middle lane as well, they will go for a trade, popping the metamorphosis and illusions. For an early used out. Yeah, they wanna defend this tower. Ice Ice is TPing in. Do they have a tombstone? Yes, they do. Pretty interesting how they leave it at level 1 now. He's gonna decay. You know, Raven, you're not that tanky, but he does have Sunder. They have to be careful this time. Top lane charge coming out into Mushi. He has the infest. We'll use it into the creep. He's gonna be kept alive for just a while more. Oh, oh they know he's there. Oh, he has Rich TP. Though. He doesn't have TP though. Yeah, no, they're not gonna dive into tier one for this, just in case. But I've actually managed to defend the bottom, the mid tower, and we'll just go straight for the tier one. Look at Jabs. Oh, <sighs> Oh my god, they gotta take that tower. There's nothing that TNC can do. They tried to switch focus, go mid, but uh, Ice Ice had a TP and uh, they took the bottom to one and they're gonna take the mid as well. Oh man. Uh, I feel like I mean, they, they, no can, they have to farm and hold their tier twos. 
they're, they're gonna be super strong in 10 minutes. They, they have to hold their tier 2s as much as possible. Now that Nana has a veil, they wanna try and fight top lane. Looks like one will go down. Mushi ending up dead at last. But Nana, you know, he has a Sonic Wave. Gonna kill Tim's off. Sonic Wave oh. into Cuckoo, perhaps. Shadow Strike. Trying to force out the Doppelganger first. Sonic Wave. Oh, the Sunder! He's actually gonna blink out. They have uh, the charge coming in. Do they wanna commit for this kill? He has an Arcane Rune. I don't think they get this one here. Actually, no, the blink away. 1437 has cancelled the charge. Looking for the Sonic Wave. They are waiting for it. I mean, Jabs is coming in as well. They need the stun onto Cuckoo. Never mind. Avalanche Juke. Ice Ice is bottom. Oh. oh, they found the real one. Scream. What? No, they did what? No! <laughs> Cuckoo, no way! Nana? Damn, what a play. What a he play. really wanted that illusion. <laughs> they were being in the illusion like crazy, man. Plus five. I mean, he had Arcane Rune. He's fine. He's fine. It's still, it's still a minute and a half. Oh god! And meanwhile, all this was happening. Like you said, you know, Ice 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 happily farming up the bottom main. His net worth, you know, he's climbing up. He's climbing up. Yeah, uh, he he just wants uh, its catapult wave, so he he wants to force the towers as as best as they can. Uh, and this game is gonna be quite similar to the last one, in my opinion. Uh, um, we're gonna see Mineski forcing their hand quite a bit because you can see has a pretty good mid and late game draft. Like PL Terror Blade, uh, you can have a pretty farmed uh, Timber, but eventually those heroes are gonna power through you, so you need to. I mean, we see so how it goes, right? Uh, like, I feel like they haven't hit that power spike this yet. Oh, Boogie. Oh Boogie. My God. Shredded apart by TNC. And they will get the tier 1 tower popping the metamorphosis. Ice, ice, ice. They're just gonna take this bottom tier 2 if they can. But the, I see heroes rotating mid. Jabs is gonna chase after him. They need the stun. Sam H is dead. Infest bomb as well. And alright, Sam H. Toss. Bang, breaking the trees. One more right click. Mushi gets it. Charge. The relocate comes in as well. Look at Nana go down. Mega kill going their way. As Jabs will take out the IO. But look at Mushi. He's actually almost down. Toss up. Oh, they try to toss him to safety. But Jabs, never mind. Yeah, dude. Boogie is here, getting the case stacks up. The charge, nice avalanche, trapping them in the nick of time. But Boogie taking a ton of right clicks. The timbers are coming in. Chakum trying to cut this beef up. Nice and, and nice thin slices, but one for three seven. Never mind. Body blocks a bit from Raven. Ice is still on the hunt. Once that, oh, the toss some jabs. <laughs> But that was a this good play for, for TNC. They took tier 1, uh, tier 2 bottom still up, and they, they got a lot of kills for Raven. So now he has that Mask of Madness. Uh, uh, it definitely ramps up the, his, his, like, his killing power with that IO on top of it. So, yeah, I feel like this is good. TNC, it felt like they, they, they hit a, didn't have a lot of plays to be made, but with Ice Size being bottom, they were able to find some kills. Right, so I have to ask this game, like, um, do you think Lifestealer actually builds into a Mjolnir? Just so that he can deal a bit more of the illusions? Uh, probably not oh, straight top away lane. after Armlet. Oh. Not straight okay. away after Armlet, okay. I mean, Deso is usually the play, but you know what that was happening, you know? Nana getting torn apart again. Wonderful spell. Just the silence coming up from Sam H and a level 4 Void as well. Were you watching that, uh, the Skyrath League game from, from LGD? Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched a part of it, not all of it. They had a Battle Fury Slark. So, I mean, if Slark is building Battle Fury, why not go for Battle Fury Lifestealer then? I'm not even joking here. Like, I feel like Mjolnir is not enough to deal with two uh, illusion heroes. Like, there's so many illusions that the Mjolnir maybe is just not enough. So, go Battle Fury. Get out of here, Bowie. Battle Fury Lifestealer? Is that is that is that the new Dude, meta Battle right Fury now? Is Lark. Battle Fury is Lark. How how can they win with that? <laughs> I was I was quite surprised that they went Battle Fury's Lark that game. Is this the like, one going on your no YouTube channel? There were no illusion heroes. There were no illusion heroes, and he went for it. Oh God. Yeah. Is this is this one of your YouTube videos, Bowie? Is that what is that what's happening right here? Battle Fury Lark. Life. In my last video, there were a comment, uh, super uploaded. It was like, you were the problem with the Dota scene. You only make videos about carries. And uh, <laughs> if I make a video um, about Battle Fury Lifestealer, there's going to be so many people unsubscribing, so probably not. Okay, top lane, they're going to charge. Oh, yeah, Boogie, you know, he's surrounded by a ton of illusions. 
But they actually want to turn around for this as Jabs is coming. They need to toss someone in. Oh. Yep, Shadow Strike. Okay, what next? Can they kill him off? They need a stun. They need the Avalanche. Tossing the Illusion. They get the Avalanche combo out. With the Scream, they actually do get the kill. And look. Wonderful thing, you know? And But PL does have a Defusal Blade. Those Illusions are starting to hurt a lot more as they burn away all the Mineski's mana. Yeah. That's, that's true. Uh, maybe even Terror Blade goes for the Defusal Blade because Isasize's only weaknesses right now is having no mana to Timber Chain away. So if you have mm -hmm. so many Illusions right click, you won't be able to do anything in the team fights. So maybe after Manta. But BKB is yeah. also quite good for huh? him. We'll see. Okay. Because I, I remember, Bauer, during the draft, you were saying this is such a good Timbersaw game, but, you know, TNC is like, you can't have a good Timbersaw game if you can't cast Timbersaw spells. So, imagine if, I don't know, Terrible went for Diffusal Blade, I'm just trolling around, but still, you know, he's going for the Manta stuff, but TL alone can deal with that. So many illusions constantly with the Doppelganger as well. Yeah. I think even Mushi at some point is going to have a lot of trouble if this drags out past, say, 35 minutes. Yeah, for sure. They're, they're going to struggle, uh, maybe even... We're gonna see a Queen of Pain Yoner because of the life still talent, life spell still talent, spell life still talent, and uh, so many illusions. They they need as much AOE control as they can. Uh, actually, AOE damage. They have this veil, which is gonna help Isasize do more damage, but they need more than that. Charge coming in, Mushi, silence, if they can get the Nether Strike, they need to combo oh. him down. The Avalanche, actually onto all four, Ninja Boogie is there, but Mushi was to end up dead. Can he get the kills here onto Sam H and Raven? I'm not even sure. I mean, yeah, one for three, something goes down, but Metamorphosis, oh, Sonic Wave, they will take care of Tibbs, he blinked oh. into that, the Sunder comes out, Raven will find the Nana kill. Silence up, they actually can go for more Sam H, getting the Void up. And yeah, they don't want to dive under the tier 2 tower for that, as the tier 1 is still standing, but here comes Ice, 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 big and angry. There is no Sunder. Alright, and he popped oh, the Mask of Madness yeah. for that. He just wants to get the extra movement speed. Timber Chain away, perhaps? He's actually gonna oh. run away from this. They need the Chakram. He's gone the wrong way. Or oh, they found him. Have they? Or oh, they have vision of him now. The toss in! There we go. That's oh, the synergy so we're talking damage. about. Dude, uh, yeah, all of that was we happening. were talking about darkness and how like mm -hmm. it helps Io survive, but the darkness also really hinders Tiny's capabilities of tossing people. So the only reason Raven survived so long is that darkness was on, and as soon as it uh, went down, he, he had rage for the toss. So it's actually quite. I feel like they didn't. They banned the entire Mineski draft with the exception of mm -hmm. uh, Tiny, and I feel like they picked Night Stalker to counter those toss plays. All that was happening in the bottom lane, you know, top tier 2 did end up falling, and mm -hmm. do you feel like Mineski on the clock right now? Like, you know, Lifestealer isn't doing that well, Nana 6 and 3, yeah, you got you keep getting the IO, but this terribly, it's just top of the net worth. Yeah, I, I feel like they are in the clock. They, uh, like, unlike last game, they don't have great ways of just roaching straight away, they can't smoke and then get roaching. And uh, those heroes are hard to kill, dude. Tinder Soul can chase them down, but it takes a long time. And while you're chasing, with the Kalos taking towers, uh, I I I feel like they need to maybe they have to smoke gank and kill Nice Sucker. The he's the easiest core to kill right now. And then then top tier three taking quite a bit of chip damage actually from the illusions. They were charged onto the Ice 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 so as the meanwhile, you know, they did get the bottom tier too, but Sam H actually oh, went for the Shadow Stalker. Blade first. Yeah, he can uh, silence without collapsing. And it's also yeah. a Silver Edge... Uh, oh, he went Yasha? What? Okay. I don't know, maybe Master Style, Sanji and Yasha, just get a tank up, get some extra damage in, you never know. Right, but okay, yeah. Ice 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 chasing after Cuckoo, who will doppelganger away. Oh, actually, he messed up! Oh. And because he sees the Courier go for the PL, this time, Mineski know which one is the real one, but do they have other heroes? Nah, he doesn't want to overcommit, not that much mana as well. He can't go on a wild goose There's chase. a Shadow Blade on Phantom Lancer as well. Did you see that? Silver Edge on everyone, dude. <laughs> okay. And, uh... Yeah, maybe maybe they go for the Sinjin Yasha on uh, Night Soccer and the Silver Edge on Pal. And, dude, this Terror Blade is getting massive. He went for Manta, now going Dragonlance, so they can siege faster. Level 25, you can get the key from the Metamorphosis attack range. Oh, goodbye. Uh, rest in peace, he just disappeared. And actually, they found one more. Avalanche, they know where Sam H is. The toss up is here. They have a double damage onto Nana, who can just right click Sam H down. Sonic Wave oh. will be thrown out as well. And this time, Nana will not miss. 
Okay. Yeah, Shadow Blade on cooldown. Unlucky. But you know, space created for Raven and PL still farming as well. Two of the cores and TNC top of the net worth. And this illusion. Yeah, like it's even now, but uh, TNC's draft makes use of gold way better than Mineski does. So even though it's even, I'm not sure Mineski would even win uh, 5 versus 5. The, the terror blade is the day. Oh, 1 for 3 7. Actually, gonna end up down to Timbersaw. Solo oh. kill? Uh. Okay. Middle lane, though. Jab's getting brought down by Cuckoo. So many illusions to blink away. They will take care of the tombstone. And they can still chase with this using the open wounds. But Ninja Boogie will probably end up dying here. The Chaka Mirai, they wanna try and get in. But Ice Ice Ice, now nah, on these illusions, man. That. Dude. Piao is doing so much damage. He, he just shreds everyone. And uh, the Tide Hunter just went down. I mean, he can die with the. He can burn Mushi's mana and Timbersaw's mana right here. They are potentially setting up for it, but Kuku doesn't want to take the risk. Not under the shrine, anyways. And. I mean, yeah, you, you said that they're so big doing so much damage. I also said that, you know, TNC are putting Mineski on the clock. It feels like they've run out of time. He definitely does. Uh, TNC will probably have to mess up if Mineski ever, you know, gets those tier 2s, gets Wilson. They have Wilson on Timber. He actually went, uh, got two charges, didn't die ever since. Um, I'm curious to see Queen of Pains. So, she's going for Lincoln's Fear, and it feels to me that they don't have enough damage, and they're not really solving those damage issues. Uh, Life Seeker going for Yasha, for instance. So, how they're gonna kill those heroes? Yeah, they wanna kill Kuku. The Yule Scepter is there. Do they have a stun? Actually, no, the Decay. Never mind, doppelgangers away. They want to try and fight jabs using the illusion this time, but with so many heroes, Kuku will finally die. No dupes of the illusions today. Yeah, they were chasing the illusion, uh, and uh, jabs even tossed the uh, the real one, uh, thinking it was the the fake one, but they got the kill. Okay, so that's good for them. Piao, second in the network. Can they rush? That's oh, they have. Gonna try. On Double tiny. damage on tiny. Yeah, but yeah, I think they should be able to do this. You know. They just need to break the Lincolns, they have open wounds, why not? With the Deso as well, should fall decently quick. Without the PL, I don't think TNC are confident enough to take this Roshan. You can't give Roshan. They, they had such a great grasp in this game. Now with Ages, probably on top, yeah. I like that Ice went well, for the BOTs this game, so that he can actually clear with the constant top lane split push coming out from TNC. And now they can actually sort of group up. You know, Lifesteal is getting decently big. I still feel like he could have gone into Mjolnir and just even a Salkaras. I don't know, but he actually looks like he's going for a Manta. Yeah, okay, Man I can see why he goes for Manta. Do you want to dispel Silence as well? Silence. From the Night yeah. Stalker. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's... They, they don't have any sort of dis uh, dispels here. No Lotus Orb, uh, Timbersaw. Oh, Timbersaw is actually going for one. But he, he wants it for him as well, so. Since he's been pushing so much. Okay, no so mid lane like, here, huh? they're maybe going for a push. Ah, uh, can they take. Yeah, they, they don't really want to fight with Cop having ages. Just look at Cuckoo, dude. He's lit pushing the top lane so often. Just forcing Mineski to play to TNC's pace. Because they understand that if they drag the game out long enough, Terrorblade's almost on an eye of Scotty. So, you can tell. Once this Terrorblade's big enough, Mineski probably don't have the heroes to deal with him. And even if they bring this, the Terrorblade low enough, because of how much HP he has, they're gonna struggle, and he's just gonna get a Sunder off onto, onto Timbersaw. No, I, that's how yeah. I envisioned this game going so far. You have the Ayo to make it even harder. And now, uh, Super Edge ready for a Cuckoo. So, he, he, he even has kill potential on uh, Ice Ice Ice. Alright, oh, they smoke. know that's the real one. They have a sentry there as well. Down goes Cuckoo and Mushi. Bright and shiny, well pushed into the middle lane. They have dealt with one of their biggest problems. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you don't have Manta. And are they gonna trade? It feels like they, they want to go with Terra here and maybe they can relocate back uh, if Mask is pushing uh, faster than them. Yep, so easy tier 2 here, the fall for Mineski, no buyback on PL for 30 seconds. They could get some serious tier 3 damage out here from the side of Mineski. Wow, this is at least a tier 3 tower, if not maybe even a range tracks, but fortification comes out, so this will be just be tier 3 tower. Okay. 
Reflection, but no, that's all right. It's fine. Pop the darkness. They want to try and defend this. Tiny's still waiting in the back line. Device SI is happy to stand the front lines. Chakram damage out with the avalanche. Will bring Raven's HP down just a tiny bit, but charge from the side. Bashing onto two. Looking for the toss back. Okay, never mind. They kind of messed up that one, but it's okay. With the tier 3 tower gone, they can back off. Void and down goes Jams. How? What? And they're going to chase after this. <laughs> Ninja Boogie's actually going to get out. They want to get the Void. And everyone else on the side of Mineski will be happy to back off. Yeah, let's see if they can take at least the tier 2 lead to even out uh, the score a little bit. Maybe with the Pop Ages. If they take this tier 2, the, the Metamorphosis will be ready as the Ages is falling down and TNC can finally go for an aggressive play. Uh, but I feel like, again, but they want to fight this though. I mean, Timberstall is coming in. Oh. Going to try for Raven to chalk him to cut the illusions out. Peanut Pain has different plans. Invis Rune could think about going here. Never mind, everyone gets out. But they actually still could try to find Tim's. Yeah, Tim's is dead. Never mind. Ice misses the Timber Chain. But with Chakum, one, two, three. They'll cut him off. Never mind the tether away and the charge at the same time. Timberstall is not going to get a free Bloodstone charge. But that's okay. And now, and Solar Crest next item. Meta is on cooldown. Is Minasa gonna push the issue? They can take the top tier too, and this is gonna solve a lot of the problems if they get the top lane of Rax. Over the bottom lane, you know, he doesn't know that. Okay, he knows the sandwich is there, but Shadow Blade away. Doesn't wanna stay there too long. Top lane, oh, solo kill here for Cuckoo. Easy kill. That was the relocate as well with Raven. Oh. And it looks like they wanna go into Ninja Boogie, trying to use the decay up. Can they put the tombstone? And alright, down goes Boogie. Oh. Mushi infest onto Ice 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 with the Nether Strike. You know, I think he actually may be in some trouble using the one charges. Never mind, actually won't get it up. And Mushi will be left alone. Looks like Nana TP into the wrong neighborhood. He will step up into there to dispel the silence, and I think he's gonna die anyways. In between the entirety of TNC, nowhere to go. Can he blink out? Charge, Should be able to, right? And another lane. Nice. Oh, charge. the charge! So Great. much damage from the side of TNC, and they will wipe the floor with Mineski's blood. Yeah, dude. I was I was getting scared for them, but uh, they they actually th that fight started so weird. But with the relocate, it's it's a very not only they have the relocate to bring terror, but they have spirit breaker to charge. So suddenly one hero becomes four, and uh, Mineski couldn't handle it. But uh, do you think after that losing the team fight like that and Aegis as well? I don't know. Do you think that TNC now they have the advantage? Like, do they control the game? Mm. They, they actually do, because they didn't spend mana morphs in that fight. So they could go for the aggressive play, but uh, hopefully they, they actually go for it. Unlike last game, it felt like we're playing... Yes, TNC has the late game, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't take those tier 2s. It doesn't mean that you, should, you shouldn't go for, uh, like, use your mana morphs. They have DD on top of mana morphs. Uh, wait, where's the double damage? Wait, there was a double damage there. Oh, it's on PL's, it's on PL's bottom, okay. That's still a big item on him, and he's gonna get a heart. They will smoke up. But the Timber yeah, like alone top really lane. Like this. Oh, he's gonna Timber Chain away. They have to charge on the way as well. Ice 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 just trying to farm that camp up, but never mind. Oh, nice stomp. That's <laughs> our please, oh, not like this. He's gonna Timber Chain away. Hunter in the night, and survive, down goes well. Ice Ice Ice. Okay. So I'm no very afraid. No yeah. metamorphs is used. Uh, afraid right now of a Mineski. I mean, I'm not complaining because if this continues, TNC are gonna force the game three. I'm not complaining for that. Yeah, me too. Well, all right. So they huh? they're going here through the mid lane. Uh, top is 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 well pushed. They they can do. They can take. Sam H. He's found Ninja Boogie behind the tower. They have more than enough laying out the tombstone and the flesh golem. They're gonna try and take out the tombstone here, trying to keep it alive. But thank you for the no 200 gold, says Cuckoo. Man, those are um, big heroes which you need, but they're just not there. Yeah, there's there's tier 2 bottom, but uh, I feel like they could take at least one lane of barracks. Even with Ice Size alive, there's so much damage out here. Wow, look at that tower. They're going in for the avalanche right now. They're going to try and stall the push. Going here into rain, but the charge. Oh, down man. goes Jabs. Immediate buyback. They want to try and hold the line, but Rage is about to expire. They can't, they can't even kill one for three seven. Sonic Wave still won't be enough to bring him down. The Sunder comes out. And can they chase after Mushi? I think Mushi is dead for sure with the eye of Skadi. Skadai. And down he goes. Triple kill for Cuckoo. This guy's a beast. One lane of Rax, you said. Bowie, nine. It's going to be two.
It's gotta be two. Uh, they they, uh, they went super. I mean, you have to contest the punch straight away, but they didn't have all heroes. And when they die with no buyback like that, then then they're just gonna lose even more. Uh, I feel like they they had to go for a play honestly, because as time goes on, their draft is just weaker. Mm -hmm. they just uh, it feels GG. almost like oh yeah, they just called GG. Damn, thirty minutes. Could have controlled it, but once again, it feels like the highlight between, or rather the point, the biggest point right now between both game one and two is that both teams never get to execute the draft, at least for the losing team. Yeah, uh, I agree. If it, it, in, all, in all honesty, I feel like Mineski even.